guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I am gonna be showing you guys how to use the Complex Culture Smoothing Blowout Brush. You guys already know that I absolutely love it. I just wanna show you guys how I use it. It is pretty self-explanatory and stuff like that, but I do kinda of wanna get into depth about it and talk about the pros and cons about it. There are a whole bunch of other types of blowout brushes out there, but I just wanna show you guys how this one works. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle also don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live and without further ado let's go ahead and get into it Okay guys, so like I said, I am going to be showing you guys a demo of how I use the blowout brush, the things I love about it, the things that are kind of like mm, about it, which honestly it's not very many. As you guys know, I'd shown this in my September favorites, I believe. I ranted and raved about it. I said that I was gonna do a video for you guys and here it is. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna talk a little bit about this blowout brush and what it claims to do. I will be reading it from the website because I cannot remember everything. This is the Complex Culture Blowout Brush. This retails for $159. They are having a sale right now, and this is $88. Unique oval shaped barrel with 360 airflow dries hair while giving you height, body, style with every pass. Two bristle types that gently detangle and boost shine. Premium titanium barrel provides even heat distribution to smooth hair, three temperature settings for flexible styling options, professional rotating no tangle power cord that stays out of the way, soft touch easy grip handle for more comfort while styling, and the barrel is 75 millimeters. It does say that it is best for all hair types. My hair type is straight with a little bit of frizz as I've gotten older and after having kids. It also says though, do not use it on synthetic hair. That is pretty much it for that. Now I typically just use high heat all the time on my hair, I always have, but I always go in with heat protectants. So the first one that I always go in with every time that I brush my hair, I do go in with the Not Your Mother's All Eyes On Me 10 in 1 Hair Perfector. It adds body, detangles, adds shine, protects, moisturizes, controls frizz, repairs dry hair, heat protection, men split ends, creates silkiness. So what you pretty much do is when you get out of the shower and you dry your hair, you spray this in, you brush your hair out and you're good to go. And this stuff smells bomb, I'm almost out of this. I can just I can feel it I'm almost out and then another one that I go in with you don't have to go in with two but I like going in with two because I feel like they just work better if you do two I don't know maybe that's just me so this is the Amica the wizard detangling primer this all-in-one prepping mist protects against heat damage reduces blow-dry time all while detangling and softening your mane I just spray this all throughout my hair I got this through Octoly and it does cut the dry time in half so I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down and spray this in my hair so you guys can tell my hair hair is wet. It is very, very wet. I'm not really like methodical about this. I just spray it everywhere. Then I'll just go in with my brush to even all of this out. Okay, and then I do go in with some clips. So I'll grab my little goodie clips and then I have four of these complex culture clips. Two of them are upstairs though, so I'm just gonna use what I have down here. So what I like to do is suction my hair. Again, I do this very, very messy. I'm not, like, I'm a neat person with everything else that I do, but when it comes to my hair, I just don't care because it's gonna get dried anyways. So I will section off into threes and then I will put my hair to the side here and then I will work in sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of speed through this whole thing. Okay, so we're done with the bottom half. Now, when I was going through with this brush, what I did is I started from the bottom here. You brush up like this, 
and then I kind of turn it like that and brush it out and then you can dry the ends and then you can brush it out like this or like this. I like going this way because it's a lot easier to get it dry a lot faster but if you want that volume you can start from here and then twirl and work your way that way and I promise you guys this is so lightweight that your arms do not get tired even though this is underneath my hair and this is one of the most healthiest parts my hair is so smooth right now and it is straight like straight and smooth and now we're gonna go ahead and just fast forward through the whole thing Alright guys, so this is my hair done. As you can tell, I have a lot of volume right up front here because I pulled the brush forward and back. And I do have some volume back here as well. As you can see on the sides here, it does look really good. I never wear my hair straight, but since using this tool, I've been wearing my hair straight a lot lately. I used to have little flyaways here and there, but now I don't really have them anymore because the round brush is able to smooth everything out. And my splint ends are actually really, really bad, but with using this round brush, my ends don't really look too bad. I mean, they're bad. I mean, if a stylist were to see this, they'd be like, oh my God, go get your hair cut. But it doesn't do any damage to the tip of my hair. My hair feels really smooth. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the pros and cons of the round brush. Now, I only have one con about this brush and it really isn't that big of a deal, like really, because this is gonna happen anyways. The only thing that I don't like about this brush is that you do get a lot of hair in here and I'm a stickler for like cleaning out my hairbrushes or anything like this. Like I have to clean it out every single time and I get so much hair in here. So to be honest, it's probably not even like a big deal for the pros of this brush. It doesn't burn your hair. I know that with some other brands like Revlon, I've heard that one burns the crap out of people's hair. I don't know why I haven't really looked into it. So there's that. This one doesn't burn your hair. It smooths out your hair. I love that it has the double brushes in there so that it can smooth out your hair and it can detangle your hair. It definitely cuts dry time in half. My hair was a little bit more wet than usual, so it took about maybe like 12 minutes to blow dry my hair. If my hair were damp, it would probably take less than 10 minutes to blow dry. The unit itself is really, really lightweight. The only thing right now that is weighing down this blowout brush is the extension cord that I'm using. I'm using two right now. This is so lightweight when you're using Using it, it's like air. It's literally like air, so your arms do not get tired when using this. I do love that there are three speeds on here. There's just air, there is low heat and high heat. I always use high heat because I'm always in a hurry, literally like all the time. Other than that, there's really nothing left to say about this round brush. I love this blowout round brush. It definitely gives you that volume. It gives you that smoothness that you want with your hair and it definitely cuts the dry time in half. It's amazing. Just wanted to show you guys how I used this and what I love about the brush. And I know that some people use it to curl their hair and I have tried it before and it does work, but my hair doesn't hold a curl right now 
because I don't have a lot of layers in my hair. That is why I didn't show you guys how to use it as a curling wand. When I do get my hair cut, I can show you guys how I would use this to curl my hair. But other than that, that is pretty much it for my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Let me know if there's anything else you guys do want to see. Let me know if you guys have a round brush like this. Let me know if you have tried one, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and what brand you do have. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, no, okay, hold on, okay. Ultra, okay, so I like. I